two triangles below are similar, determine the ratio of the corresponding sides, the ratio of the perimeters, and the ratio of the areas. Determine the ratios comparing the small triangle to the large triangle. Looking at the two similar triangles, notice how this side corresponds to this side. This side corresponds to this side. And finally, this side corresponds to this side. Let's look at the ratios of the corresponding sides. Again, comparing the small triangle to the large triangle, we have the ratio of four centimeters to six centimeters. The ratio of six centimeters to nine centimeters. And the ratio of eight centimeters to 12 centimeters. Notice in each ratio, the units of centimeters will simplify out because centimeters divided by centimeters is equal to one. And now let's simplify each ratio. We simplify ratios just like we simplify fractions. For the first ratio of four to six, the greatest common factor between four and six is two. To simplify, we divide four by two and six by two. Four divided by two is two, Six divided by two is three, giving us the ratio of two to three. The greatest common factor between six and nine is three. To simplify, we divide six by three and nine by three. Six divided by three is two. Nine divided by three is three. Again, giving us the ratio of two to three. The greatest common factor between eight and 12 is four. To simplify, we divide both values by four. Eight divided by four is two. 12 divided by four is three, once again giving us the ratio of two to three. The ratio of the corresponding sides is two to three. And now let's find the ratio of the perimeters. To find the perimeter, we sum the lengths of the sides. So the perimeter of the small triangle, which we'll label P sub S, is equal to four centimeters plus six centimeters plus eight centimeters. Four plus six plus eight is 18. The perimeter of the small triangle is 18 centimeters. And I will find the perimeter of the large triangle, which is equal to six centimeters plus nine centimeters plus 12 centimeters. Six plus nine plus 12 is equal to 27. The perimeter of the large triangle is 27 centimeters. Which means the ratio of the perimeters is 18 centimeters to 27 centimeters. Again, the units of centimeters simplify out. The greatest common factor between 18 and 27 is nine. To simplify the ratio, we divide 18 by nine and 27 by nine. 18 divided by nine is two. 27 divided by nine is three. The ratio of the perimeters is the same as the ratio of the corresponding sides, which is two to three. Now we will determine the ratio of the areas. The area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height. So the area of the small triangle is equal to one half times the base of eight centimeters times the height of three centimeters. One half times eight times three will give us the area of the small triangle. One half times eight is four, four times three is 12. The area of the small triangle is 12 square centimeters. And I will find the area of the large triangle, which is one half times the base of 12 centimeters times the height of four and a half centimeters. Multiplying one half times 12 is six. The area is equal to six times four and a half Let's write six as a fraction with the denominator of one. We'll write four and a half as a improper fraction. The denominator remains two. The numerator is two times four plus one, which is nine. Four and a half is equal to nine halves. And now we simplify before multiplying. There's one, two, and two, and three twos and six. We now have three times nine, which is 27, giving us an area of 27 square centimeters. 
which means the ratio of the areas is 12 centimeters squared to 27 centimeters squared. The units of square centimeters simplifies out. The greatest common factor between 12 and 27 is 3. To simplify the ratio, we divide 12 by 3 and we divide 27 by 3. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 and 27 divided by 3 is 9. The ratio of the areas is not the same as the ratio of the sides and the ratio of the perimeters. The ratio of the areas is 4 to 9. Notice how if we begin with the ratio of the sides or the ratio of the perimeters, which is 2 to 3, and then we square the 2 and we square the 3, this does give us the ratio of the areas, which is 4 to 9. So it is true the ratio of the areas is always the square of the ratio of the sides or the ratio of the perimeters. And this is not only true for similar triangles, it's true for all similar polygons. Let's summarize this. If the ratio of the sides of two similar polygons is A to B, then the ratio of the perimeters is also A to B. And here's an example. If the ratio of the sides of two similar polygons is A to B, then the ratio of the areas is A squared to B squared. And again, here's an example. I hope you found this helpful.